in case I lost the first one. And my Uncle Gary happened to get hold of the backup. So anyway, I'm going to go with the backup because he changed a few things. Anyway, here it goes. Hello, my name is Bear Grylls. And I'm Matthew's brother. I'm here to tell a few stories about Matthew and, um, and give you a little bit of insight into exactly what Paul Kate's got herself into. <laughs> Matthew was born on the 26th of April 1983. He was a fat baby. <laughs> That's not really relevant to anything else I've got to say. <laughs> but I just thought I'd throw it in there because I know how body conscious he is. <laughs> <laughs> From a young age, he showed a competitive streak. Aged about three and a half at Playgroup, and I was doing a little bit of needlework, you know, the cross stitching sort of stuff. His playgroup teacher recalls him leaning the kid next to him and saying, um, I bet you I can sew faster than what you can. <laughs> this brings me to uh, Christmas Day 1988 when he was aged about five. It could be 1988, I'm not really 100% sure, but it's about then. And anyway, Sandra delivered him a new black and chrome BMX bike. He's quite enjoyable like that. It was a faithful morning that, he's, uh, that again his competitive spirit came to the fore. After doing a few laps around the cul-de-sac, he thought to himself, gee, I wouldn't mind a race. What a baby. Yeah. He gave it a bit of thought and he thought, well, Andrew's a little bit too little. I can't see mum or dad getting out here and racing me. So he looks up at the heavens for advice. And he spots it. An aeroplane. <laughs> so there he is, eyes up in the air, pulling an absolutely flat chat, racing this aeroplane. And Rumour has it that he just got a whisker in front when he plowed straight into a telephone pole. <laughs> After nearly knocking himself unconscious, he spent the next couple of days with a face all swollen, you know, with what, what Mum described as looking like an elephant man. <laughs> he attends Rochelle Primary School, a uh, second generation student, I might add. <laughs> and it was in those primary years that he had a serious health scare. We look back and laugh now as a family, but at the time it was no laughing matter. It was very traumatic, especially for Matthew. <laughs> now, an un unidentified child that no one can seem to remember the name of was drawing on the back of Matthew's head with a pencil. And um, it was not a big deal at the time, until his classmates act told him that um, he's probably contracted lead poisoning from that. <laughs> this led to complete panic. <laughs> This led to complete panic from Matthew. He could not be consoled. He bawled and cried and carried on. And, and he had to be sent home from school. And uh, my Matthew used a lot of her persuasive skills to convince him that he didn't have lead poisoning. <laughs> he attends Brooks High School, a third generation Brooks High, High School student. Some very good pedigree there, I might have. His, mate, his best mates at the time were uh, Jeff Freeman and Nick Farrell. <laughs> Which brings me to a few apologies. <laughs> Unfortunately, Nick can't be with us because he's on the run from the cops. <laughs> and unfortunately, Jeff can't be with us because he's not as good a runner as he <laughs> Since his best anyway. <laughs> Which brings me to the Hawaii trip that you and a few of the Mario boys took. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there. And to be blatantly honest, I'm not too sure how Kate ever let Matthew go as well, like on a six man history. <laughs> she must have rocks in her head or something. <laughs> One incident I heard stands out. The way Matthew tells it, Talbot had drank about 15 too many beers and was carrying on being a bit of a serial pest. After numerous warnings, Talbot decided to punch Matthew. Um, he decided to punch Matthew. He decided to punch Matthew in the balls. <laughs> Matthew, with what was a purely reflex action, punched Talbot to the face. And anyway, that's the way Matthew tells it. But um, that's not the way that Tolbs tells it. The way Tolbs tells it is, and I quote. <laughs> I did nothing. He gave me a hiding and left me laying in a puddle of piss on the toilet floor. <laughs> well, having been on the end of many a childhood hiding from Matthew, 
Uh, and knowing the honesty and integrity and maturity of the man that is Lucas Tolbert. <laughs> I'm going to have to sign the tops on this one. <laughs> this brings me to the first time that I met with Pat. It was in the back bar at Lloyd's Hotel. At yeah, Lloyd's? Yeah, Lloyd's Hotel. She was pissed. <laughs> Thanks everyone for putting up with me. Have a great night.